Okay, I think it's time we had a talk. It's safe to say that Destiny 2 is not in a good state right now, and I want to talk about why. So before we get into this little rant video, I'm curious, what do you guys think of the state of the game right now? Let me know in the comments below. This video is going to be a bit of a rambly one, so organization may vary. So if you have any complaints, here's your warning. With that out of the way, let's dive right into this. Now, I've been playing Destiny 2 for a while, and I've been playing since vanilla D1, so saying I've spent some time on this game would be a bit of an understatement. Actually, now I'm curious, how much time have I- Good lord! I really need to go outside and touch some grass. Anyways, Season of the Deep has certainly caused its own controversies in the Destiny community. With raising the price of Seasons from $10 to $12, that's a 20% increase. Not to mention having to pay an additional $20 for a dungeon on top of that, it just begins to add up. The main issue people are having with this change is that you can't buy the exact amount of silver you need. In the past, you could buy 1,000 silver, the seasonal amount needed for the pass. But now it's 1,200 silver. Bungie simultaneously announced it'll charge 10% more of its Season Pass rank bundles, which speed up the process of maxing out the Season Loot Filled Progress Bar. This will increase the plus 10 rank bundle from 2,000 silver to 2,200 silver, or, for money, $20 to $22. These changes just stink of greed, and the players can certainly smell it, myself included. Now, I know in my friend group I am the definition of a Destiny addict, and I will happily raise my hand to admit that this game has a death grip on me. So you can see why it annoys me and others when no proper reason was given for the price increase, other than a Bungie developer stating, This will be the new pricing for season passes in Lightfall's years for those looking to maximize their rewards with each new season, and will be evaluating new approaches to post-launch content in the year of the final shape. Plus, people are tired of basically every game charging for a battle pass, be it Fortnite, Overwatch 2, Clash of Clans, Apex Legends, Halo Infinite, Rainbow Six Siege, and many, many more. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. We knew about the price changes in advance, but what we didn't know were the goddamn server issues. Holy crap, Bungie, fix your damn servers! We have done this every week, like seriously, this needs to be fixed. There have been many discussions on the Tiger engine, and I'm just going to give my two cents on the matter since, you know, we're here and talking about this. I personally believe the Tiger engine needs a massive overhaul. Either that, or we need a new engine going forward, because we just cannot sustain old-gen consoles going forward for the Final Shape and beyond. My personal suggestion is, once the Final Shape is done, we should just drop old-gen consoles. We just can't continue to drag them across the ground any longer. Don't get me wrong, D2 is a huge step up graphically and performance-wise from D1, but we just can't ignore the weekly server issues we're having since Lightfall launched. Hell, these issues were present before that, but just to a less degree. I think another issue facing Destiny 2 right now is just burnout, from both the seasonal model and the story structure as a whole. Ever since the season of The Chosen, we had to face that damn grid, and it got stale very quickly. Now, admittedly, Bungie has said they were planning on changing it, and this season we have a slight variation, but even then, it's not a big difference. Now, yes, they stated the change was coming midway through the development of Season of the Deep, so it's most likely next season we'll see the big changes. I say big in quotation marks because we don't really know what's coming or if it'll be any good, and believe me when I say my hopes are not high. The seasonal model has always been drip-fed style since the very first season back in Shadowkeep with Season of the Undying. It's, it's getting very stale. Especially when we are week four, as of writing this script, of Season of the Deep, and not much has happened story-wise other than Sloane and Titan returning. This is bad, Bungie. People are jumping ship and they aren't seeing any reason to return. Something I and many others have noticed is just the lack of effort being put into the game. The love is gone, and now we're just playing with the hollow shell of what remains. Every season is starting to feel like a copy-paste. The story is not good as it could be, and the best parts are being told in the lore rather than in the actual game, which is an issue that we've had before in D1 with the Grimoire cards. The gun perks and the guns themselves just feel stale. Like, yay, another reskinned gun. Bungie keeps reintroducing Sunset crap two years later and after they took it away. Like, hello, I already paid for this, why am I paying even more to get it back? I just want new guns. 
Not reskinned Gambit Prime weapons and Moon Patrol guns. Yes, Taken guns look cool, but they're still Gambit Prime reskins at the end of the day. Something else I and many others are tired of is when the community is having fun with something, Bungie just immediately nerfs it, while leaving bigger issues on the chopping block. Like, pr prime example, there's a glitch right now with, with accommodations and how some players, myself included, just cannot give out those things. Yet, it's not been fixed. Why? Why is it taking so long? There's so many triumphs that are tied to it. I can't go from my level 8 to my level 9 right now, because I have to get 9, 10 accommodation score, and I can't give accommodations. It's, it's just, why? Why, Bungie? Fix it, please. Another thing is content just doesn't feel hard anymore. Bungie ramped up the difficulty back in the beginning of Lightfall, and within weeks, they nerfed it back down to the ground. And the new raid, it just wasn't tough. It was boring. And the dungeon, well, yes, it was cool, but Bungie's response to difficulty was just to ramp up the boss's health, so it's not even fun after a while. You're just shooting a bullet sponge. It sucks. Something I will give credit to, though, is deep dives. The fact that they ramp up in difficulty the deeper you go is nice, but that's about it. It's nice. Nothing more. Oh, let's not forget about the world of Destiny itself. Does anyone else just miss that sense of mystery we had in D1? I certainly do. Now it just feels like a bit of a generic space odyssey story. Good versus evil kind of crap. Destiny 1 was such a soulful game in a way Destiny 2 just isn't. There was way more mystery about the world and the characters in it. The art style and the game itself had a dark and grittier tone. Even after Forsaken tried to turn it around, to this day it still maintains a kind of sanitized look compared to the original. It just feels like a blockbuster movie now. Live service games are in an interesting state at the moment, mainly due to burnout and the belief that it's just used to sell an unfinished game. I can see why people think that since everything is time-gated and forcing you to wait to gain access to content that you paid for weeks ago. Speaking of paying, let's quickly touch on the Eververse. I genuinely despise the Eververse, especially recently because of one tiny little thing they've done, the recommendation page. Like, seriously? It just feels like a slap in the face, because it's not even recommendations for Bright Dust items, it's recommendation for Silver. You've already upped the price of Seasons, Bungie, and now you add this? Come on, guys. Not cool. Oh, and don't even get me started on the fact they're bringing Cade back for the final shape. It's just unvaulting more stuff, I see. Real original. Wonder what guns from Forsaken they're gonna unsunset for this new expansion. Do you know what I'd like to see in the final shape? Moth people. Hell, I'd like to see a new faction altogether. I'm so sick of reskinned enemies. How many times have we fought the Cabal now? I'll give you a few seconds to guess. Did you get it? Let's see. We have fought nine variations of Cabal, not to mention the many sub-factions within the main factions of the Cabal, like the Deserters and the Broken Legion, that are just the Red Legion, but with different names. Like, don't get me wrong, they look cool, but I'm just so bored of the Cabal now. I'm bored of the factions in Destiny. We have fought the same group of enemies since Vanilla D1, just with some added reskins here and there like the Taken or Siva or the Scorn. At the very least, let me get some new looking Vex since we've been stuck with the base model for years now, or something, or, you know, an entire new Darkness faction. I want to fight the creatures that the Drifter talks about that he met on the Ice Moon during the Dark Ages, or the beings that Ada One's family were attacked by during the Collapse. But alas, I don't think we will. Sorry, Moth people. You'll get your chance to shine one day. It's a shame, because Bungie started this pattern with us getting new enemies within our factions with the Wyverns. Like, holy crap! An actual new Vex enemy! That must mean the Cabal, Fallen, Hive are getting new enemies, right? Nope. The Hive just got reskins with light abilities that were an easy pushover. The Tormentors, while be it, yes, they are a new enemy type, but they were easily cheesed, so they don't count. Yes, we did get Briggs too, but that's just basically a fallen walker on two legs, and they're just bullet sponges until you open the crit spot. Funnily enough, Wyverns are the only actual new enemy type that are difficult to fight, but that's mainly because of their shotgun blast thingy, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. This is a shame, because Kallus talks about how the Vex we currently fight are only gardeners and mechanics, while the Wyverns are the first look at their warrior class frames. Maybe we'll see more of them in the final shape, but I highly doubt it. Okay, let's take a breather. 
I know this video seems negative, but I just, I want to see this game succeed. I love Destiny in the way that one loves their own child. They may annoy the hell out of you at times with their decisions, but at the end of the day, you want to see them succeed. The Destiny community has been really toxic lately, and yes, I see the irony of me posting a negative video on Destiny probably doesn't help that case, but if there's one thing that we can work on, it's being civil. Harassing devs and sending death threats because you don't like a video game? I repeat, a video game is not the answer. Destiny is a form of entertainment for us, and we need to remember that. Yes, some people's jobs are to play the game and stream it, but the people who make the game are people too, and this is their job, to entertain us with their game. So, tell me in the comments, what are your opinions on the current state of Destiny 2? Do you agree or disagree with me? But remember, no matter what your opinion is, please keep it civil. There's always a person on the other end of your screen. I've been Fawn Umbrella 612 and I hope you have an amazing day. Stay frosty.